with us. Just know we for real in love. We real people with real problems. A real marriage, but we gon' solve them. Love is love, so we keep evolving. And don't you judge, just keep on watching, okay? But keep it cute in the comments, though. Cause trust and believe we reading all the comments, though. And if you know one thing, we keep it 100, though. You rockin' with Britney and Dory, the show. Let's go. Britney and Dory. This in town that she oh. says she's bringing with her. Oh, so we out with the bros. <laughs> <laughs> you childish. Nah, Double yeah. Trouble was supposed to meet up with us, but she is under the weather today, so she's gonna have to sit this one out. Um, so we miss you already, Double Trouble, but we about to get to it. We gonna let y'all vlog with us today. We gonna take y'all with us. We gonna go to a few spots. Question. Yeah. Do you call it call them your bros? No, I don't call them your bros. <laughs> but you know, for some reason, there are there's people. So many people yeah. Like there are people be like out to dinner with my bros. And what you be feeling? How you be feeling? I don't feel any kind of way. Like, I ain't no boy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, it really ain't like that because sometimes I be like, what up, bro? Yeah. You know, I can say that to a girl or a boy or whatever, but I haven't said that in a long time, though. I don't know. I'm just so grown these days. So, <laughs> I really, I'm a whole mother, okay? A whole mother. <laughs> With your baby bag in your lap. Okay? I don't even carry a purse anymore these days. I be like, all right, let me throw this in the bag. <laughs> Easy, because I be having too much to carry. You got a got a um, car seat. Mm -hmm. And you have a bag, and you have your own bag. It's just too much for me. Way too much. And I, we got like, we have two strollers, but sometimes when we're out and about, we usually take the Duna. So for the convenience. And um, we, um, they don't have like a place that you can put your bags at. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like you have to buy extra stuff for the Duna. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Like a cup holder. That's stupid. Or a storage place. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I have a cup holder. Remember, I brought oh. one home. They go the, the yeah. Oh, cool. We didn't put that on there. Mm -hmm. It's like universal, so it'll fit on any kind of stroller. Awesome. That's so awesome. Anyway, so rock with us, rock with a kid. We about to be out outside for just a little bit. Yeah. And it's uh, like, it's, I go back to work on Monday. Yeah, so it's a little bittersweet. And the reason why I wanted to get out of the house is because baby goes back to work on Monday after being at home with Noel for over three months. So it's just surreal i know she kind of going through it i already know she's gonna cry on monday you think so you're Everybody definitely like, gonna cry my sister told me she cried in the parking lot i'm like i don't think i'm gonna cry you're gonna cry there at seven that's supposed to be my new schedule but today's my first day back at work so it is what it is so i got up at like 6 50 this morning no i got about 6 15 this morning and i um, started getting dressed I'm trying to get um, acclimated to our new um schedule tired <laughs> i have my bag of makeup over here because i have not put anything on this morning but um I'm not gonna cry. 
I just have a few little tears coming down just because um, I already miss her. I think this hand wasn't gonna cry, but <sighs> I just have to get through this day. <sighs> so Brittany is at home right now, so I think I don't know how we're doing this, but um Currently, Brittany's at home right now. She usually gets up at like 7.30 every day, if even that. Um, she usually gets to work about 8.30, so. This morning, she got up around 6.45-ish. <laughs> and um, she started getting dressed, but no, we, once we finally got out the bed and started making moves and stuff, I think she started to kind of move around um, and kind of started waking up. So Brittany, um, had to stop getting dressed so she can probably get her fed and um, change and everything so that um, they can go on about their day. So Brittany's gonna drop her off at um, her grandma's house. So. Noelle is officially about to start full time being with her grandma and my mom. And honestly, I think it's good not only for uh, us because we don't have to put her in daycare right away at three months but also I think it's good for my mom to get her into a routine um, without my dad being here so I just think it's good for all parties Dory went to work for the first time today I already know she going through it she don't call me talking about what's going on what you doing I was like babe I just got to my mom's house dropping Noe off getting her settled got my mom her car seat her her Noelle and my mom got their own car seat for my mom's car so we rocking and we rolling and uh, it's about to be a new journey for all of us. I just pray over my family. I just pray over my mom and her journey that she's going through trying to find her new self. I pray over uh, Dory as she gets back to work um, and just get grounded. Just trying to find her, her inner peace, being without Noel, just trying to cope. So I pray that she is able to be the mother that she wants to be but also uh, be the boss that she is um, and then I just pray over myself that I'm able to continue to provide for my family uh, abundantly and that God continues to cover us uh, and the reason why I'm speaking this out loud so y'all can hear it is because sometimes you have to speak over your life speak the things you want over your life um, and know that God is going to give it to you uh, not the way you ask for it, but the way that is in his plans and his desires over your life. So uh, I'm ready for that. And uh, we're going to see how uh, the first day with my mom watching Noe goes when we pick her up when we get off work. So continue to rock with us. Rock with a kid. Let's get it. Let's go. So she's going to be there until I get off of work with her grandma. I mean, it's good that I don't have to drop her off at a daycare because, oh my goodness, that would even be more stressful than what it is right now. Um, but yeah, she's gonna take her to her grandma's and then I'll pick her up after work. I will probably work a half a day today. I don't think I can pull out a full day today, so we'll see. <sighs> I'm really tired. We kind of, um, had a full day yesterday. We, um, went to Brittany's cousin's baby shower. He's having a boy soon. I know we have a little cousin that she could play with and um, grow up with. And um, after that, we ended up going to a little day party, a mom's day out um, for a couple of hours last night. Got back home, my phone dropped. But yeah, we got back home around 10, got in bed at 11. I woke up around three o'clock to feed Noe and we went back to well, it was really kind of hard for me to go back to sleep with my brain just started going but um went back to finally went back to sleep and then woke up obviously at like 6 something 6 15 to um start 
start the day, but yeah, I'm really tired. So, I'm definitely not going to be able to pull out a full day today. I'm already ready to get her. So y'all just pray for me. I hopefully this whole new transition um, eventually gets easier each day as I, um, as I get back to work. So yeah, I miss my baby so much already. I really, really do. Just want her, I really just want her. It just sucks that moms have to go back to work. Um, so now I kind of feel like I, how Brittany probably felt when she finally had to go back to work. And she only was off for like two weeks, if even that. I think she was only off for a week, to be honest. Um, before she went back to work. But now I feel like I know how it feels. But I was off for, for more than three uh, months, so little harder for me just because I had so much time off with her and it's been my routine literally we wake up every morning um we'll feed and then I will snuggle her right up next to me and go to sleep and we will sleep till about 11 o'clock <laughs> uh, our baby is not a morning person y'all so like when she sleep, really don't mess with her when she like in her deep sleep because she do not be trying to get up. She loves her deep sleeps. So, yeah, sorry for all of that y'all. Really, really tired, but yeah. Wish me luck, pray for me, you guys, as I get back into this routine because I really, really, truly need it. I just want to smell her. So I'm about to get off my phone, get to work, and start looking at pictures. I know. I'll let y'all know if I cry or not. Yeah, I know you. Matter of fact, we vlogging you getting ready for your first day leaving Noel on Monday. How about that? Okay. Yeah. All we right. we need the real. Like we done left y'all out of too many things early on. And again, we acknowledge that, but it is not as easy as it seems to run a YouTube. It's not. It's not. Be present in your marriage. Be mothers. Yeah. be great at work it's just not easy so we're gonna do our best we always 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 appreciate the love and support y'all show us if it's not on here definitely go ahead and follow our instagram page you can keep up keep up with us a little bit better on our instagram uh so that is Brittany underscore and underscore dory on our ig we'll drop it down here below so you guys can follow us yeah so um real quick though yeah yesterday you guys i went on my first mommy date Oh, you did. I did. So okay, so how did how was that? First of all, like just explain like how it came about. Yeah, how it came about because I think this is actually a pretty cool story. So me and Brittany was out at the mall one day, mm -hmm. and about I, a couple weeks ago. About a couple weeks ago, yeah. yeah. And uh, I saw every time I see babies now, I just look at them and stuff. I'm just like, and so all in all with all babies now, um, because that's my life. Uh, <laughs> but I saw a lady with the baby. And um, I was like, I think she had both of them at the time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, how, you know, how old are they? And she was like, they're three months. And I was thinking to myself, my baby's three months. <laughs> um, but anyway, so then, next minute, her husband came out the um, um, dressing room. Yeah. And um, they are part of the LGBT community as well, mm -hmm. what we found out. Um, but they... Um, started came over to talk to us I didn't have my I didn't have Noel at that time so they came I had yeah, Noel had Noel over yeah. there on the other side of the um the store so then whenever they were like finished checking out they came up to us and it was like oh we want to see our you know you all's baby yeah so we showed her showed them Noel and they just like that's Link yeah so we exchanged um social media and she invited me out for a mommy uh, lunch date yesterday which is so cute yeah if y'all know Dory y'all know that she don't number one have a lot of friends let alone friends with babies that's the same age Why as her have a lot of friends? because you just like to sit at the house i don't know i used to not be that way and i don't know if it's because i used to like i don't know i don't really know why i have not found my like my people in dallas it's yeah. really me I, I don't think it matters. i think even if you were in oklahoma with i think you would still only hang out with amanda probably 
Yeah, most likely. Or, but yeah. yeah. Like, your the sisters don't count. Back. Yeah, your okay. sisters don't count. She's the only one there. Obviously, so. Mizzy. But Mizzy be in Dallas so much, we hang out with him here and in OKC. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I always say I'm going to find my own circle here eventually because I feel like I do need that, like, you know, support and, mm -hmm. you know, friendship outside of my life. Yeah. It's important. You got to have that. So, um, I'm going to find it. But, you know, she invited me out to lunch yesterday. So, we had a cute little time. We just went and ate at a restaurant called Earl's Kitchen and Drinks or a Bar or something like that. Yeah, baby and brought half of her sandwich home. And I'm not going to lie, it was smacking. Okay. So, I'm just going to tell you right now, I like that you warmed it up for me. Yeah. So, we might just have to order it to go. But okay. that mug was smacking. Yeah, I had that with some trouble fries. It was good. And then, because um, I love it some trouble. Um, but, yeah. But, it was cute, though. We just walked around Legacy West. months old as well yeah so, they're actually four months now but four months okay yeah. so they're like a couple weeks ahead of noe yeah so i think it's cool because i was telling dory like number one they they live in the same city as us um they are part of the lgbtq community and like our daughters are close in age so yeah. i think it was just kind of like we don't have any mommy friends not a coincidence that we were able to like run into them and like for y'all to already link so i think it's pretty cool yeah and it kind of makes me excited for noel because it's like even birthday parties like she don't have any nobody else has kids gonna be at the birthday party so. no but noel's birthday party gonna be lit okay <laughs> it's gonna be an adult birthday party so y'all already that. know we gonna have y'all at noel's birthday party we're gonna we're gonna keep it rocking we're gonna keep it going yeah but we can't rush our baby that's too i know <laughs> let's keep her at three and a half months yeah. okay my phone ringing uh, rock with us, rock with a kid. We're about to go to Wabi House. So with that being said, it's your girl Brittany and Dory, and we are Brittany and Dory. Peace. I'm just gonna eat two and then I'm done. Your sinuses, mm -hmm. or definitely got the sinuses flowing. You want to go in the game with her, baby? Okay, you a whole gay mama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Y'all, I'm childish as hell. <laughs> That's why I said, that's why I said we could go get something else to eat because she a foodie. So man, that's a foodie. Y'all are foodies, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, you're going to get plenty of tacos. Yo, oh my God, I'm so happy about that. Drop the roof and let you smoke it. I got diamonds to win since he's not in both fish. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuckin' not, I keep the koala in my shorty bag You know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she love the toys Keep it coming, you a rider This that roll myself a day and count my figure shit This that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna I just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you close? Feel my feelings, send an action These days no cool, my age Niggas be past it Living in the middle, this shit might drive you mad In a pretty middle, but this my shit ain't all bad Bloody blood and murder, there ain't no second chance Like I do, adore you like I do, clean for you like I do, cook for you like I do.